Hey y'all, it's Caitlin. I'm here with a first impression type video for the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Brilliant Nail Polishes. I picked up the colors Pinkfinity and Violast. This is sort of a bright cream, violet purple, and then a ballet type pink. I'm going to tell you guys um, sort of my first thoughts. I'm going to go through and do a live swatch. Um, actually paint my nails really with this color Pinkfinity. Um, and sort of show you guys what the consistency of the polish is, what the opacity is, you know, how many coats it's going to take you to get the color of the bottle. Um, so yeah, you'll be able to see all of that. And even though this is just a first impression video and not a review, I'm going to come back in a few days and actually annotate um, the end of the video. Let me know if I have any chips or not or if it's staying really well on my nails. Um, I know these have been out for a little while, but they're still a fairly new product, and they've only sort of recently appeared in my drugstore, so um, they were hard to find for a while for me. But now I've got them, and I wanted to show them with you guys if you guys are like me and haven't purchased them yet and just want a little more information before you purchase. I'm going to be doing my nails with these today. Okay, so I've prepped and primed my nails with this Orly Manicure Keeper. It's a rubberized base coat that's going to help your nail polish stay longer. And this is what I use every time. It's just part of my normal nail routine. So you know that's how I'm going to get the best comparison is if I don't change anything about my normal nail routine. And now I am going to apply this Pinkfinity color onto my nails. And I'll show you guys that. Um, a lot of times with pale pink colors, they look like they're going to be opaque in the bottle, but then they come out sheer, so I'm really interested to see, you know, how many coats this takes. Um, I already applied the Violast on my toes. Um, I didn't film that part, but it only took one coat for the color to be completely true to what's in the bottle, so I was really impressed with that. I did put two coats on just... Um, basically out of habit, but the first coat was pretty darn good. I've actually been having problems with this cap. When I try to, um, you know, take it off, it just sort of ratchets, but you can actually detach that part, and then this part will come off more easily, and I didn't have that problem with the Violast, um, but I just wanted to mention it, that this one won't open, and I just have an envelope down here because I want to protect my desk, but this is what the brush looks like right here. It's a pretty thin, small brush. Um, nothing too special or unique, but just wanted to show you that. Okay. Wow, so this is pretty opaque. Just like the Violast, it seems to be going straight to the bottle color on the first coat. the first nail. So this is pretty true to the bottle color. Um, there is a little bit of sheerness so far, so I will go back with the second coat. Um, and by sheerness, I don't mean like you can see the nail, it's just a little patchy is probably the better um, word to describe that. So this is what it looks like after the first coat and I'm about to apply the second coat. This is what you get after a second coat. I'm trying to find an angle here that isn't in shadow. I think it turned out pretty nicely after two coats. I'm going to finish it off with my Revlon Color Stay Top Coat. This is again the top coat I use on every polish regardless of any claims it makes about long wearing or anti-chip. I still like to put a top coat on so that's what I will be doing again here.
Okay, this is the finished product with top coat on. Obviously, I am not a professional manicurist. You can tell this is just me doing my at-home sort of application. But overall, my first impression is that the color payoff is really true to the bottle. Um, immediately after one coat, you're st starting to see a color that looks very similar to the bottle. Um, it was a little bit sticky on the second coat. Oh, and I just stinged this one. That's unfortunate. This isn't even in focus. But it's all sticky, very easy to like mess up, so I'm gonna have to go back in and fix that one, which is not something I usually experience with this top coat, so I think it is the nail polish itself. But I would definitely repurchase this just for the color payoff. Um, you know, if you're looking at a color in a bottle, it's gonna be pretty much what you get, and a lot of times with nail polish, that's not necessarily true. So I would definitely recommend this CoverGirl Outlast polish, and thank you so much for watching.